Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome to Rust Can't Fly. I know you're probably wondering, what's up with these Wednesday videos? Man, listen, I am just so excited that I've had access to these two amazing airplanes that I had to put this in, in rotation, in addition to the upload Friday, because these aircraft were just too amazing not to share. So, you know, last Wednesday I talked about the Piper PA-28181 and I showed you all of that. Well, I also had access to a Cirrus SR-20. It's, uh, I forget what year it is. I think it is a 2019, um, but man, it is just incredible. So I have to show you, so for this, rare upload second under upload wednesday which won't be happening often because i just don't have it in me to be doing two videos a week but i just had to share this serious aircraft so you could see just how beautiful this thing is so let's get back over to wings so i can show you this amazing serious sr20 let's do it and so while we're here we might as well look at the serious look at this look at this i'm dying Look at those doors, look at that. Look at that, that is beautiful. So this is the lottery machine. Or if you guys want to, you know, just hook a brother up. <laughs> So don't step on the seat because it has honeycomb. You can hear it when you move around. So the honeycomb is for when caps is deployed and the airplane hits the ground. The honeycomb yeah, absorbs everything, so you won't break your back. What? what? <laughs> no. I want two on. Everything comes alive. Five, six, <laughs> and Alcantara. So you, all your fuel is in here, you enter through there, you can do your weight and balance, so I can put how much you weigh. What the fuck? How much you weigh? <laughs> 185? 185, and then we can put me in here. So it'll automatically oh, do all your weight and balance. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you can do your weight and balance in here. Right here. Right all in there, and then oh you can enter. God. And then you'll go through and it'll take you to basically your home page. Okay. If it wants to follow the rules today, or is it being slow? All right, we'll just confirm. All right, so this is basically your home page here. Okay. So this is your navigation. On Perspective Plus, that's like, like your like home button. Pilot. Exactly. So it's everything you do, if you ever want to go back to home, just like an iPhone, you hit the home button and it takes you home. So the FMS knob controls your MFD. So there's pages on pages on pages of everything in here. So I can Flight pull up approach place on this too, right? Yeah. I wanted to. So we'll do this. We'll go go home and okay. we'll put our flight plan in. We'll do K L O M to K P T W. So it's a QWERTY keyboard, just like any keyboard other than the perspective. Perspective is A B C D E F G and there's a whole thing, but perspective plus they change it to a QWERTY keyboard and all the numbers up here. Makes sense. So it's just like a regular keyboard on a computer. Right. And then we'll go K enter and then what you can do so say you wanted to do the, an approach at ptw you go to procedure select approach or p and e you can select what approach you want let's say vectors and you can select your minimum so it'll tell you when you reach minimums Minimum. you can select whatever <laughs> you want to start at you can load or activate the approach so we'll load it and what it does is it should automatically tune the nav frequencies oh, wow. for you. Just, uh, so it'll automatically do that and then I don't wanna do that. What do I wanna do? No, I don't wanna do that. Where is uh, that chart? So here's your chart that's for PCW. And it'll actually show you on the chart where, where you are, where you oh, are. Okay. So that's pretty neat. So yeah, there's that, and then to get home, home button, you can zoom around the map, you can pencil and select different things, just like a 
cursor, um, your engine page, so that has all your engine information, all your checklists are here, so you can go down and do all your checklists, and say you're entering through, which is nice, is if I exit out of it, and I go back, it automatically sees where I was. Now, how did you learn all of this? Did you learn all this as you were going through the training, or did you do anything ground school wise? So, did you get a program. I, this is a lot. Just yeah, to I kind of get obsessed with things. <laughs> so yeah. before I, every pilot should. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> before I started flying the airplane, I just sat here with ground power, and I literally sat here going through each thing and learning how to do it. So when I went to go fly the actual airplane, I wasn't like, uh, I don't know Jeez. how to do this. Oh, <laughs> right. uh, what's this? You already know. I already knew navigate through everything. how to navigate everything. And it's just, if you really think about it, it's just layer, it's just basically a book. So here's one section, and I can just dive in and go to different sections. I want to go to the next section. And here's each section in that. I want to go to the next chapter. And here's each section in that. So it's just information overlap. Here's your flight plan, and there's just different things you can go in there. Your checklist, nearest, and then your engine information. There's also nearest here. So there's a lot of a lot of redundancy and a lot of you can do one thing, but multiple ways to do it. Mm -hmm. I can enter in comm frequencies down here, or I can turn it up here. So you can control basically the whole airplane from just this. There are certain things, like your barrow, you have to do it up here, but it automatically tunes it down here. Oh my goodness. My mind is blown right now. That's pretty much it. Power, fuel pump mixture, I just want to feel center it. console. Oh my God. These have airbags in them, so when you do hit the ground, they'll deploy. So the G6, there's two magnetometers, so there's no, new, there's no magnetic compass in the G6. Okay. So, yeah. Pretty much all that. You want to sit in? No, I already sat in there, <laughs> and, it, and it and it and I and I had dreams about it for like months. Here's your caps handle. Automatic lighting. So when you hit the unlock button on the key fob, the winglets light up too, <laughs> and the footstep lights up. Marvin, this is Isn't this incredible? Yeah. Incredible. The airplane has a parachute. Get in trouble, pull the parachute, float down to the ground crazy look at that lighting on the wing it's beautiful the thing that's crazy this is the sr20 there's something called the sr22 and the sr22t for turbo and they are really bananas so this is the little brother of the sr22 and it's awesome so the cirrus look at it it's beautiful gorgeous aircraft had this opportunity to look at this aircraft as well. So I thought I would break it down into two pieces. And um, so this is the Cirrus. I love those gall wing doors. Awesome. Okay, so I'm back home, as you can see. Isn't that an amazing? I mean, I gotta tell you, that is my dream aircraft for sure. I mean, you know, I love a lot of aircraft. Um, I'm definitely not mad at that Piper. Um, I definitely like the Cessnas, the 182, but man, that Cirrus is off the chain. I'm definitely looking forward to the day that I get a chance to fly one of those bad boys. They are pricey to fly, um, and so that's why I haven't flown in one yet. Um, because remember, college tuition! But as you can see, it's just an amazing aircraft and the avionics, uh, second to none. So one of these days, God willing, I'll be able to fly one of those and fly somebody in it with me. Um, but for right now, all I can do is dream and drool and all that kind of stuff and share it on this rare upload Wednesday. So but anyway, thank you for watching this quick video of this Cirrus SR20. And thank you for joining me on this crazy journey. Um, I love aviation and I'm so glad that I found my way to sharing this with you all. All right, so with that, Russ Kid, Russ can fly. Upload Wednesday is done. Let's get out of here. See ya.